Welcome to this presentation of uh, Miranda, the new robotics simulation software. Uh, well, from the main menu we have uh, three uh, main functionalities. The first one is to create a simulation. Second one is to uh, play an existing simulation or a challenge. And the third one is to create your own robots. Well, just a look to the first item, creating a simulation. We can use predefined objects. It means a static object or robots. Let's take a mod robot. For each robot, we can program it with Scratch or Python. Let's create a small program with scratch okay going to make this embot turn okay so very easy very easy uh, Miranda uh, is able to simulate several robots in the same simulation so let's duplicate this one move it So the program has also been duplicated. Of course, each robot can have a different program. I'm going to modify this one. OK, so we can also see that uh, there is a physics engine. It means that uh, uh, robots can push object and the uh, object can fall with gravity. OK. So this is the simulation editor, a very basic example. Let's have a look to uh, some predefined examples. We can have a simulation with different kinds of uh, robots in the same simulation. On here we can see that we have two M-Bot robots and one Tello robot. I want also to show you that uh, we can have a look to a scratch program and see the evolution of this program while it is running. So this is very convenient to debug your program in scratch. OK, let's have a look to some other small examples. Here is a simulation with 80 small robots. So as you can see, Miranda can simulate a lot of robots in the same simulation. I can select a part of this robot and ask to apply a predefined program. This program is turn, it only makes the robot uh, turn and uh, have a white light. Okay, what we can do also while it is running is to uh, move the object. So this is very fun. You can uh, do some crazy thing like this. Okay. Uh, let's have a look to a simulation with robots program with Python. Okay. So we can uh, have a look at uh, this small program. So this is very easy. If uh, a sensor is true, then uh, the robot is uh, turning. Otherwise, it is going straight away. OK, so as you can see, we can also, with Python, simulate a lot of robots. 
let's have a look to another example. This is a fun example because in Miranda we can also uh, have fun. This is an arena with uh, robots which are going to fight. Of course, these robots are programmed with Scratch or Python. Uh, so, how does it work uh, if a robot uh, sends an enemy, uh, then a, a projectile is fired, uh, otherwise the robot is uh, going straight away or turn if uh, uh, something is detected near the robot. Okay, let's try this. So this is very fun. If you have students, you can uh, make the program uh, a different robot and see uh, who is going uh, to, to, to win. You can also uh, uh, let the computer drive uh, some of the robots uh, to see if uh, students are going to create a better, better program than uh, uh, the program uh, uh, which is running the computer robot. So this is really fun. Now we are going to see um, the challenges. Challenges are uh, something you can uh, create for your students to uh, make them try to solve a small problem. So we are going to open one with uh, Team Yo robot. So what we have to do in this challenge is to, to go through the gates one and then two and then three before uh, the right robot, which uh, is uh, handled by the computer. I'm going to switch to player mode. In this mode, um, I can just uh, create program. I cannot modify the simulation. So this is what your student uh, are going to, to see, are going to do. Well, let's write a small program. Okay. Just have a try. So this is not good because uh, uh, my robots have to turn a little bit, so let's modify the program like this. Still not good. Another test. Yes, it looks better. Okay. The first level is OK, but, but of course I have to write a more complex program to win all the steps of this challenge. So let's continue and see what happens if uh, the right robot go through the gate number two. Of course, I have lost this challenge. So here is the concept of uh, the challenges in uh, Miranda. Um, going back to the edition mode for this challenge. So there is a special object. The, this purple object is uh, the manager of the challenge. It means that this is an object that is going to handle uh, the process of the challenge. We can program it with Scratch or Python. And in this object, we can define what happened in the challenge. It means that uh, making some initialization defines the number of steps of the challenge, by example, and then uh, monitor the challenge. It means looking for this challenge uh, to uh, the robot which is going to go through the gate. Is it the 
robot, the robot user going through the gate or the computer user and then manage everything until the end of the challenge. So, uh, we are going to uh, look at the solution for every challenges in Miranda we are providing for the teachers as uh, a solutions so you can decide to uh, to look at the solution and uh, also to give a part of the solution to your students to help them by example so let's have a look at this solution so we provide solutions with scratch and python for each challenges so here is the solution okay and of course we can try it to see if it works so the solution is uh, based on the line following in this challenge okay so level one is finished There is a little bit more complicated thing at the end of this challenge because the line is ending. So the program has to process this. Okay, and so the challenge is finished. Okay, uh, now we are going to uh, have a look at another challenge for the Edison robot with a solution written in Python. Okay, so this is a different challenge. We have to program three robots. The concept is that the first robot is going uh, through the gate one and then to the gate two. And after the robot A uh, path in front of the robot B, the robot B have to start and follow the robot A. And finally, for the gate three, the robot A, B and C have to grow through the gate number three in this order. So uh, let's have a look to the Python solution. So this is very easy for the first robot because it only has to uh, follow the line. A little bit more complex for the second robot because it has, has to, to wait that the first robot pass in front of it and then follow the line. So uh, let's see the result. So the robot B is waiting for the robot A. It's coming. Okay, and finally, the three robots have to go through the gate number three. Okay, uh, we can have a look at the program for the manager. It is in this case program with Python, but uh, anyway, it can be a scratch of Python. So here is the program of the manager. Now we are going to see uh, the system editor. The system editor is a part of Miranda that you can use to create your own robots. 
So let's open the editor. On here there is some uh, heat terms that you can use to create your robots with uh, also the sensors, the lights, and also the custom geometries. Uh, these uh, custom geometries let you import uh, some uh, of your geometries to create a nice robot with your own geometries. So uh, let's create a very small example. So I had a body and I'm going to add some wheels. So on here there is a physics structure of my robot. So here is the wheel, I'm going to set the position for this wheel, OK. I can make some try, OK, to see the result directly. I'm going to duplicate the wheel. Okay, so I have only my two wheels. Let's define the position. I can make a test. Okay, my robot seems to move gently. I'm going to uh, set a name, right wheel for the object, left wheel. I can also name my system, so my robot. Then I can save my new robot. give a name and now from the simulation editor I can use my new robot here it is and I can program it with Scratch or Python depending on the items I put on my custom robot, I can access several blocks or, fun or Python function. So uh, let's write a little program to make the robot turn. OK. I can do the same with Python. So I'm going to delete my Scratch program, open the Python editor and write a small program in Python to make my robot turn like this. It's the same, of course.